Oh man, you folks, you gotta love it. This is the pre-spawn. This is everything. I am fresh back from Grenada. I am so glad I'm not cold and I'm back on my home lake. Just trying to find out what's going on. I'll tell you what, I haven't been fishing on this lake for a while. And uh, I'm thinking, hey, muddy water. Let's go figure it out. Let's go find that. And then we're gonna put some big fish in the boat. And I've got so many things to talk about in this episode. We're gonna talk about tactics for pre-spawn. We're gonna talk about some specials that are going on in the world in terms of fishing and equipment that I'm using. And uh, bottom line, folks, as you can see, we're gonna put some fish in the boat. Well, that didn't take long. That is a nice fish right there to open up a session. Just had a pontoon boat come about within five feet of me, unbelievable. Um, a lot of things I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, gonna have a lot of fun. We are pre-spawn. These fish are moving back to those spots. So we're gonna talk about tactics and pre-spawn. That's our big topic. We're gonna talk about some of the experiences that we had in Grenada. And uh, let's let this guy go right here. Here we go, right here. Beautiful fish right there. And also, couple deals we got going. Starting this week, Monday through, let's just say this is Sunday evening, so we're gonna start it right now. There's a uh, sniping braid special, $34.99 for the pro spool. Check it out, $10.99 on the regular spool. And uh, I also don't want you guys to forget the variety packs, man. These things have been hot, 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 hot at 3poundfishing.com. All this stuff's available at 3poundfishing.com. But today we're talking about pre-spawn. So thanks for watching me. Let's get this show on the road. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good night. That's what I think. It's going to be a great night. So. I'm fishing with the Darbone. This is the Darbone in a 1 16th. Um, I've got some of the new uh, Grenada ones coming where they're all 1 16th hair jigs. So you'll see those. There's actually one on the website right now that I caught the three pounder on. But um, you know, one of the things that I think is going on, it's amazing how things change very quickly. I mean, even though the water temperature really hasn't changed that much, I think we're roughly around 49, 50 degree water temperature right now. Um, those fish tend to know what time of the year it is, and they are without a doubt moving towards the spawning area. So we're catching, you know, the first fish I just caught in this episode was only one foot down. And the fish I just caught was, well, it started off at three foot down, went down further, and it came right back up and actually bit at three foot. So these fish are moving. This is a great time to snipe fish. Everybody that's out there crappie fishing kind of knows that they're just, you just go around looking, you know, at 70 foot forward, 70, 60, 70, you know, that area right there, start sweeping and look for the big flat, you know, bulbs. And those are the guys you want to go to and hopefully they're, they're calm. And if they are, those are the, those are the fish that you can really key in on, on fishing. Now, my setup, people are going to, Ask about my setup. This is not a sales pitch. I just believe in everything I use and I wouldn't use it if it wasn't the freaking best. Three pound fishing elite series, 13 footer. I love it. Now, if I'm casting, it's the 10 footer. And if I can get right up on the fish and I think it's a really quick bite, the 10 footer. Um, Fluger reel, can't say enough good things about this reel. I bought, I got mine at Grizzly Jig. Check them out. It's a 20, it's a size 20. Sniping braid, unbelievable. There's new sizes also coming out here shortly, but right, like I said, this is the time to buy because it is on sale for a full week. It's the spring special. So that's my setup. Even on my home lake, I'm using a 13 footer during this time of year. But once I start casting, I'll go right back to that 10 footer. So, and the guide trips right now are kind of like a mixture of both. So, and that's the great thing about the spawn. We're gonna move around this lake a lot. We're on one end right now, very muddy water. We're gonna go to another end where it's gonna be clear and I guarantee you we're gonna be casting. So let's do this. That's a good fish. Now I, I keep my depth at 25, 25, 30 on my home lake. And um, it's perfect for this lake, it's just based on the depths that I usually fish here. That's a good drop. Let's see if we can get his attention. Um, but you know, when we were at Grenada, we were at uh, we were at 15. Maybe you don't know that, but we were at 15. And this is the 
this is the, the process. You are constantly tossing at a fish and it usually doesn't work out too well for you when they're running like this. But sometimes they do turn and, and when it's a big fish, it's worth the extra effort. That's a good throw right in front of them. There he is. We got him. We got him. Great fish. That's a pig, folks. And so uncomfortable. That is a freaking pig. Nice fish. That's a picture fish right there. And we saw that guy from get go, got it on live. Active captain. That is off. And uh, that is a perfect example of how it's done. That fish was deeper than the other fish. These fish are at different, you know, different depths. They're all over the place, but they are definitely moving back to these spawning areas. And you're looking for spawning areas that have structure, uh, just all those type of things that we're all accustomed to. So uh, guide trips are going fantastic. Um, we are packed. <laughs> um, still have some available late April and then May, June, you know, certainly. Uh, and, and May is a fantastic time. If you're thinking about guide, I mean, that is the heat of the spawn really uh, in my, on my home lake. So um, if you're considering a guide trip, uh, May is a very good time. And of course, I will always brag on the uh, post spawn. Even though the fish are smaller, they're super aggressive um, on the brush piles. They're all hungry, they're starving, they're ready for some food. And man, we, we I mean, that's just a great time to fill up the freezer. get any better folks scoping fish muddy water I'm always looking for muddy water if I can find it that is a good fish 70 degrees the water temperature is 52 degrees middle of the day light wind which makes it perfect to just kind of roam around here and try to find big fish doesn't get any better but I'll tell you what tactics castings probably number one I think if you can find a good school of fish up there on some structure, um, it's probably number one. But pre-spawn wise, you know, these fish are moving up and the males might even be up there right now, but um, I prefer the scoping stuff. I, I love walk, just driving around here and um, trying to figure it out. Not even trying to figure it out, I'm trying to find a nice group of big fish. And so far this area has really produced very impressed by this area right now. Might take my next guide trip down here. You don't, you don't get a ton of fish, but the size is, is healthy. You know, one of the things that uh, I run into a lot guiding is, you know, people that just, they don't fish too, they don't fish a, enough. Or I've always said it's time on the water to get your pitching down, get your casting down. And so, It's interesting. Um, I, I always tell people don't expect to come out and be dead on. Now some people are, you know, they're naturally good somehow. They are coordinated enough they can do it. But you know, I just had an experience with a group that, you know, it took them a while. But once they got it, man, it was, it was game on. And uh, you could tell that if they just had a couple more days of practice of the of this type of pitching, they would be, you know, lights out. It doesn't happen just overnight. It's absolutely time on the water. No understanding how the boat's moving is a big part and having kind of to, to judge where that fish is going to go and where the boat's going to go and kind of put your bait in the ideal location as best you can anyway, you know, you won't be perfect, but sometimes, but big thing is what I'm doing right now is just controlling the line with my, with my left hand. Um, 
this hand right here is managing that line, the depth and how far it falls. Um, and even when you saw on that Grenada trip, um, the, the three pounder was caught just like this. I was managing my line like this and I set the hook fish oh yeah you gotta love pre-spawn fishing <laughs> i reached all the way out to 20 feet to get that guy and that was fun that was fun right there reached all the way out he was 20 feet out there and i usually don't have to do that but sometimes it's just fun to try you know what I'm saying, people? So our big tournament uh, schedule, uh, we will be back at Grenada this April. Then we're going to, uh, I believe it's Wren Lake, and then Carlisle at the Crappie USA. So these are some other Crappie USA events, and then of course Wren Lake is Crappie Masters. But either way, we're gonna be doing the Crappie USA and the Crappie Masters trails this year. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back to Grenada, man. I'll tell you what, the weather in Grenada was incredible. The day one, day two was extremely cold. Folks, I I had a mild case of frostbite. My, my fingers hurt for the first two hours. Um, I had massive rubber gloves on and uh, they still hurt. And thankfully, Ryan was kind of carrying us those first two hours. I'd worked the live scope and the trolley motor and uh, worked his tail off that first two hours, I'll tell you. And then the sun came out and even though it was still very cold, it was, uh, it was bearable. And uh, we muscled through it, which was fun. Oh wow, good fish, good fish. This fish was six inches underneath the, underneath the surface. Wow, that's good. Oh my goodness, check that out folks. That's, that's unbelievable. That is a freaking hammer. Look at that fish, beautiful. That's just, that's just short of two pounds. Right underneath the surface, big old fat belly, big old thick back. That's gonna end it, folks. Don't forget, Snipe and Braid, the big sale, $34.99 for those pro spools and then $10.99 for the regular. Ozark rods, Pluger reels, that's what I'm using, pre-spawn. This is the name of the game, you get some big pigs. We're letting them go. Folks, thanks for lasting this long in the episode. It was a great time and a great evening on the water. I'll tell you what, caught a ton of fish. Didn't show about half of them, but I can tell you that pre-spawn is just a fun time, man. These fish are aggressive. They're they're sitting out there traveling and uh, take advantage of it. And uh, if you want some help, hook me up. Three Pound Fishing Guide Service. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.